Okay, welcome back to ABL Hot Corner. With me is Perth Heat and Detroit Tigers pitcher Warwick Salpold. Warwick, welcome to ABL Hot Corner. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you here, mate. A um, little bit warm at the moment in sunny Adelaide? Yeah, no, it's a bit of a scorcher. The uh, sun's definitely got some bite to it, so that's uh, a warm welcome, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to getting after it. Like the way you threw in the bite pun there, too, mate. I was going to say it's, it's a happy heaters, too, mate. It's pretty warm. Uh, first things first. You've come from a pretty good season in the US. You've pitched some double A and then triple A with the Toledo Mud Hens. Um, the last two starts with Toledo were outstanding. I think you threw 15 Ks in two games. Uh, how did it all feel like, sort of getting to the end of the season over there? Yeah, it was good. Um, uh, last couple of years are kind of off to a slow start. And, um, and yeah, it's not where I want to be at to start the year. But um, yeah, definitely the last couple of years have finished strong. But um, I want to be able to start well and, and, and have a consistent full season and, and throw the ball well and have consistent outings and um, I definitely did get off to a slow start and I was, was trying to work through things and, and things were I was finding things pretty hard to start off and um, but I kind of worked it out and, and sat down and looked some film and, and kind of re-evaluated myself and um, definitely and took took leaps and bounds and then finished the year uh, strong and enjoyed getting up to AAA and um, good bunch of guys and great fans up there and um, not and the fans were great in Erie too um, so uh, it was good to, good to get AAA and, and and have that experience. Outstanding. So Toledo Mud Hens, what the hell is a mud hen? Mate, I'm not quite sure, but it's, I think it's this big hen that um, I might roll around in the mud, but I'm not quite sure. But yeah, it's. Um, Definitely an interest, interesting character. Just and, like uh, a bit of a roll in the mud, do they? Yeah, yeah I'm nice. Not, I'm not too sure. It's uh, muddy the mud hen, but I'm not kind of. I'm not sure if not a mud hen is serious. So I'll have to Google that maybe a little bit later. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, after your starts uh, in AA and AAA, what's the sort of process for reviewing each each start, and how does that sort of manifest itself? Do they? Do they someone have the coach come and have a chat to you about each start and what you what to work on for your next start, or how does that all sort of work? Um, you kind of get a get a sense of of how you're going and stuff like that. Um, in AA I had a guy, uh, Harmay Garcia, who was a big big stats guy and, and it was good stats. It was uh, first pitch strikes, ahead in the count, stuff like that and it was really good at the end of the month we'd sit down and, and have a look at that and um, it really, and, and all the stats kind of evened out to, to where you're at and you might have some good stats but you might have some bad ones and that's kind of where I was at and I had some really good ones and then I had some really bad ones. and. Um, it was kind of a it was kind of a reverse for me too. I should have had good ones in in situations where I, I should have had good ones, and um, it was kind of a, a confusing point. But we sat down and, and kind of ironed it out and um, took step forward, took steps forward, and um, kind of went went with it. Fantastic! Yeah, finished off really strong. So now that uh, you're over here, you've obviously been ch chomping at the bit to to roll the arm over, having to sit and watch the boys play like you know 30 games already. It must be pretty tough. Um, obviously, you're major league team directs what you can do when you're in Australia you're ready to go now so uh, what's your sort of program for the rest of the season yeah oh, I mean it's hard sitting on the sidelines and not being able to help the guys and um, yeah we're a tight-knit family over over in Perth and it has been for for the whole whole time the organization's been in existence so um, yeah so good to finally be back now and um, yeah that the Tiger just said look you just need to have some time off and um, you know I just I, I, I thought my body was ready, and um, but it's good to have some time off and, and get away from it. And no, it's good to be back now, and um, I'll just probably start in the bullpen for a few weeks, and then it's up to them, it's up to Fish and, and Bolsey to decide where, where they want to do with me, and um, and that's their call. That you know they call the shots, and I'm just I'm here to help the team wherever I can. Fantastic, it's pretty timely for your boys. I mean, obviously, guys are sitting around the mark, but haven't sort of set the world on fire. I think. While well, the pitching's been pretty good, the bats have been a little bit quiet. Some of the big bats in your side haven't sort of busted out yet. Uh, what's the feeling like in the camp at the moment as far as the, the team goes? Yeah, it's good. Um, I mean, we haven't had the best starts in previous seasons either. So um, we're kind of, we're, we're, we're a bunch of stayers and, and we're not sprinters. So, um, you know, it's, it's, that's just what baseball's about too. You, it's a long season and, I mean, it's a bit shorter over here, but um, the boys like to get, to get busy at the end of the season and when things get tough. So, um, yeah, we're, we're right amongst it, and I mean, the, the, t the table is very close, and, and every game's going to matter, and, and that's how the boys want to play, and, and that's just the mentality they've had all throughout this um, this thing that we've got going, and, and it's a fun thing, and oh, all the positive vibes are still there, and um, we just we're looking forward to going out every game and, and taking it to it. 
Yeah, I've got to say, you've hit the nail right in the head there. The last two post-Christmas uh, seasons, I think your boys have gone 15 and 5 and 16 and 4, which is just unbelievable numbers. So what's the secret, mate? Do you boys just get stuck into the Christmas pudding or maybe uh, maybe you sit at, uh, down at Frio having a couple of little creatures? What's, what's, the, uh, what's the secret, mate? mate I'll t- tell you what, it's this, um, the Perth Eat Boat Party we have and uh, we have an annual boat party and all the boys get out in the boat and um, take it to Rottnest Island, which is a great part of WA and we all go out in the boat and spend the day out in the boat and play some beach cricket and beach soccer and, and really gel and um, yeah, ever since that boat party came along, we've just turned it on in the second half and after the boat party, I, I don't know what it is, but that boat party's got some got some thing to it. So yeah, hopefully we got the uh, boat party on Wednesday and looking forward to getting after it and then uh, I mean, hopefully we start things tonight and, and get things going. So um, yeah, no, we're, we're going to be ready to go come the second half. It explains a lot. Now we know why the Brisbane Bandits got a boat this season. I wonder why they had the city cat up there. Now we know why. It's a piggybacking on the Perth heat and the boat party. Sensational. Um, okay, so the rest of the season, you know, it's a bit of a sprint to the finish, I guess. Uh, Canberra were setting the pace, you know, for quite a while, but now that they got swept last week, it's, it's closed things up. You must be feeling pretty good about coming home and getting your spot in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, you still got to take every game at a time and, and, you know, you try and win every game and um, we can't kind of control what anyone else does and, you know, every team's quality ball club. Um, just by watching on TV, you know, there's some there's some good teams out there and um, every night we're going to have a plan to try and beat beat the team we're playing against and, and that's the plan and I don't think you can take care of, you know, you just take care of what you can take care, um, control and, and go from there. So, no, we're looking forward to the challenge and, you know, our back's up against the wall right now and, and we're, we're going to come hard. Sensational. Last time you were here at Norwood Oval, the uh, place was rocking. It was the playoffs. It's probably the uh, nuttiest playoff situation I've seen before in Australia. The place was rocking. Both teams are going at it. It was a sensational series. Can we expect a bit more of the same uh, in this series? Yeah, the last time we were here was a great time. Um, the fans came out and, and packed the house and um, it, we enjoyed every minute of it. And uh, the way to win that, like we did, was, was kind of kind of surreal is kind of um, definitely to come back and, and descend with that big hit and that's kind of he, he's that kind of guy he always comes up with that big hit and um, and he's going to come up with them throughout the season so um, yeah we're looking forward we're, lo- we're looking to to do the same again this weekend and and kind of leave here with a uh, with a series win and and uh, take it take the momentum back to Perth yeah I feel like the rest of the league I mean you guys have got some big game players obviously come through in the clutch all the time and you feel like the rest of the league just sort of keep one eye Sort of looking behind him, but the heaters come along, and if you make the playoffs, they'll set a bit of a cat amongst the pigeons. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what other teams think, but um, yeah, I mean, we <laughs> we just kind of take care of what we can take care of, and and you check the scoreboard. I mean, it's just natural habit um, of other games, and and talk about them, but um, that nothing more than that. We we kind of just handle the team that we're playing at the time, and and go from there. So for yourself, uh, will you be throwing in middle relief or end game? I have no idea what the plan is. Um, I haven't. In- it's up to them. Um, whenever they call my name down and um, tell me to get ready, I'll be I'll be biting at the bit to get on the mound and, and get after it. So yeah. So you'll be sitting in your plastic chair ready to go, mate, at any time. Yeah, no, it's a very very big dugout and bullpen here, so uh, <laughs> uh, it's a good place to relax. You've got plenty of space, so um, don't have to sit on each other's laps. So uh, no, it's a great it's a great uh, ballpark here. What they've done with Adelaide now, and um, no, we're looking forward to it. I think all we need for you guys possibly is maybe get the slip and slide set up. That way you can sit on your lawn chairs, have a slip and slide between innings and then fire up. Yeah, no, that would be nice. And maybe just sit in an ice, ice pool or something down there in the in, in the ballpen. But no, nah, it's all right. You, t- you take the good, good uh, weather any day of the week. Fantastic. Well, I'd like to say uh, for the rest of this series, or the series against Adelaide, best of luck, Wazza, and of course when you head home uh, with the Detroit Tigers, best of luck for the uh, for the next season. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate Cheers. it.